I have a confession to make. I've been playing Roblox. <laughs> On July 1st, I turned 20 years old, and I've been going through a slight crisis, because I feel like... Because when you're 20, you're like... I feel like you're kind of an adult at that point. Like, obviously, 18 is technically when you're an adult, but... You hit 20, you don't even have the teen in your name anymore, and I feel like I'm at this weird age where... I should be an adult now? But I still don't know what's going on half the time or how to do a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> I'm moving out next month at the beginning of August, but for now I'm still in my sister's yellow room, if you were wondering. I, I made the bed this time because last time it was making me anxious when I was editing. But yeah, so I'm 20 now. That's crazy. I need to start learning things and I need to start becoming an adult because I feel like I'm I'm figuring out everything as I go, doing the best I can. But I feel like a lot of waiting has been happening recently. Like I have been waiting to move out, waiting to do new things, waiting for people to get less busy, waiting for COVID to continue to come down so I can go out and do more things and meet new people. And I'm really excited, but right now it's just kind of a waiting game. And it is, it is a long game. So what do I do in my free time while I'm waiting for all of this stuff to happen? Apparently playing Roblox again. <laughs> And in, in case you were wondering, I am an OG Roblox player. I made my really old account in 2009, which means at the time I was eight years old. December 10th, 2009, and I was playing Roblox like crazy. I remember me and my friend Caleb, we would get on the phone every day, like the home phone, put it on speaker and call each other, and we'd talk that way and join each other on Roblox. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first way I initially found Roblox was I was super into Halo when I was little, and I still am. I, I'm acting like I didn't play Master Chief Collection for like 300 hours. And I remember I was like so into Halo, I was looking up YouTube videos, and then I was like, whoa, I got like an ad for a Halo online game, like a Flash game, and I was like, whoa, and more Halo stuff, so I clicked on it, and it was not a good ad. So then instead I decided to Google it, and I found a game on Roblox, so I made an account, and the game was terrible, if I remember right. Like, it was essentially, there's a red team and a blue team, and you could tell because your torso was red or blue, and you started out with a rocket launcher, and there were some vehicles that weren't even Halo-related. Like, you had the Jeep, and then you had an AC-130, and you're like, that's that's not Halo. Or, like, a helicopter that wasn't wasn't a UNSC helicopter, and no, it was it was basically just a war game that was said to be Halo. It was terrible, but that didn't stop me from looking at Roblox's other games and actually really enjoying some of them, like Obies, Tycoons, tons of stuff. Great things. And when I look at it now, they were not amazing, but it was the fact that they were free and people from across the world were able to just pick up Roblox and start making games and making this stuff and you would know when you played the game that hey maybe like one person made this whole thing and it was pretty cool I mean I, I enjoyed it a lot as a kid I ended up taking a huge break when as I got older and started playing better things and doing more with my life than playing video games and then I came back to it and it's changed a lot I've come back to it like periodically every once in a while now and every time it surprises me with how far it's come like Games are literally amazing now. There's a game called Phantom Forces, and it is literally Battlefield 4. It feels exactly the same shooting-wise. It is it, like, it's just a blocky version of Battlefield 4. It feels amazing, and I, I don't know how people have done this. And uh, a recent game I've been playing since coming back to it again is a crypto mining game. So before we get into that, I need to talk about something. And I would understand if you want to skip it, but I've been told I need to talk about it because it's a funny story. And it's about my old Roblox account. If you've seen this channel before I renamed it to Andrew, it used to be Ufire101. What's up guys, Ufire101 here! That's a terrible name. I'm pretty sure I got it, like I made it when I was so little, like eight. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure I just got the name from Forestfire101 because I watched a lot of their stop motion videos and I really enjoyed them and I think I was just like, I need a name. I really like Forestfire101. What if I named myself Ufire101? <laughs> Ugh, bleh. In fact, in school, I remember there was one time where 
We just started using Google for certain assignments in classes, and I turned in an assignment on my UFIRE 101 account. And she was like naming off people that had turned in their assignments, and she's like, oh, I just got one from UFIRE 101. Does anybody want to claim that? And she looked around the room, and I, I never claimed it. I went to the grave with that, and I immediately changed my name. <laughs> but anyway, the story. So essentially, on one of my really long breaks from Roblox, and I used to have Builders Club back in the day, and so I had a lot of stuff on my Roblox account, and I miss it dearly. So I tried to log in, which first off, I'd like to say, Roblox's login system is awful. They have CAPTCHAs, which is fine. A lot of sites have CAPTCHAs. I really like the ones where you just go, I'm not a robot, and then that's it. That's the whole thing. It's done. <sighs> Roblox is not like that. They have really complex ones. They'll show you like six pictures of dice, and they all have different sides, and they'll be like, in, if you add the dice from the second picture and the fourth picture together, what would be the answer? I'm like doing math to figure out if I can log in. And the thing is, is like, you have to do this for every single attempt at putting in your password. And because of reasons I'm gonna get to, none of my passwords were working. So I would try a different one, try logging in, and then it would be like, all right, you gotta do some math again, or try to find this obscure image inside of all these other images, or the stupid ones where it's like, click all the squares that have traffic lights except one of the squares has it in the tiniest corner and you have no idea whether or not that counts or not. So you do that. You go, oh, my password's wrong. And then you enter a new password and then it's like, okay, so do the eight steps again. Cause it's not even like one. It's not like add these two together and now you're done. You've done the captcha. It's like you've completed step one. We have seven other math questions for you. Why? So eventually I found out that None of my passwords were working, so I ended up just going in the Roblox search and searching my account to see what was going on. I was like, did it get deleted because I haven't used it in so long or something? And then <sighs> I found it as the account Your Riot, and its previous username was Ufire101. So it is by account, but now it has been renamed. He's wearing a different outfit, but if you go and look under his favorite levels and other clothing items that he has in his inventory. All of it's my stuff. And you will also see that all of his followers that he has, which he has 30, are my friends for the most part. <laughs> like I have my old, my cousins, my old friend Caleb, I have my sister, tons of people I know are following it still. It's, it's my account for sure. So I realized I've been hacked and I need to talk to Roblox support and figure it out because they must have changed my password or my email or both. Because I did try to do like the forgot the password thing and it said that the email didn't work either. Like they didn't send me an email. So I was like, crap, they changed the email and the password. So I go to Roblox support and I'm like, hey, my account's been hacked. They're like, cool, we'll get back to you. I get an email like the next day and I might, I might exaggerate time here. I'm not a hundred percent sure. These are not a hundred percent facts probably because I'm going off of memory from like quite a few months ago. I talked to Roblox support. They're like, Hey, uh, we heard your account's been hacked. This was like the day after I signed up for the support ticket and they're like, okay. Uh, so did you try doing forgot your password? And I was like, well, yeah, I explained in the initial thing that I think they changed the email and the password. And so I sent that back the same day, probably like an hour later after they sent me that email. They don't respond till the next day, which is nice, because then I'm just waiting an entire day. Also, if you hear fireworks, it is the 4th of July when I'm recording this. I apologize. So I'm like, I, I think they changed the email too. I, I, I did try to get my password through that or to get it changed and reset, it didn't work. And so then the next day they respond and they go, oh, okay, um, but have you tried resetting your password through your email? What? I was like, I, I, I told you that I thought they, I'm pretty sure they changed the email too. I, I've tried this and you just, you just told me that. Did you not listen to what I just messaged you back? I was like, what? And so I was like, I tried to explain it as simply as I can. I was like, I, I just said that 
I think they changed the email. They didn't respond for like another day. So each time I'm like, cool, I guess I will see what happens tomorrow and maybe I'll get my account back. And so then the next day they respond and they're finally like, okay, we understand. Uh, do you have any proof of purchase for your account? And I did at one point, when I was like 9 or 10, get Builders Club on that account. Uh, and I got the Robloxian 2.0 body or whatever. But I, I haven't seen... I, that was years ago. I used my mom's card. I'm like, I don't have... They used a whole different service for paying for that stuff than they do now. So then I tried to explain that to them. I was like... It's, I got it a really long time ago. I don't think you were using the service you're using now. I was like, I don't think I have any evidence of that. Is there any other type of evidence that I could use to show that I in fact have this account? Which by the way, if you need more evidence that it is mine, on this very channel, I have really old videos of me playing on the account. You can check the name and it's Ufire 101. So I sent that again, don't respond for a day. <laughs> This has been like a week of back and forth and I'm like, oh my god. And then they finally respond to me and I'm like, okay, is there any other way I can do it? And they go, um, have you tried resetting through your email? <laughs> and then I gave up and I just made a new Roblox account because I was like, okay, this is going nowhere. I don't have any proof of purchase and I'm really sad about it if I'm honest because I had that account since 2009 since I was eight years old I'm 20 now I've had that account for so long and I had so many things on it and now I'd have to pay money to get them and uh so I made a new account it's Andrew 7652 I'm a little sad about it at least it has a better name I guess but I'm still a little sad I miss my Robloxian 2.0 body and my ninja mask I had it's, it's just very nostalgic for me at this point, even though it doesn't look amazing. It's more just the principle. I liked having an account that I could look at the join date and be like, wow, I've had this for so long, and now I have to look at an account that has the join date of 2021. So that's depressing. So anyway, back to modern day now. I've been playing Roblox again because I have too much free time, apparently. And I managed to talk about it with Joe because he used to play some Roblox back in the day, my friend Joe. And, uh... We were both talking about how much we loved the tycoons. If you don't know what those are, they used to be really simple and it would be like you have a bank that's constantly gaining money very slowly. And if you stepped on the platform, you took all the money that was had been building up in your bank. And you could use it to step on other platforms to buy things. So say you have a restaurant tycoon. You want more chairs and seats? Go step on this button to buy more chairs and seats and they'd appear. And then because your restaurant is nicer, now you're making money faster. So then you have more money to collect each time. And then you can go and buy even more expensive things so you can make more money. So you can get more expensive things and it's a loop. You keep on going until you buy every single upgrade in your restaurant is ridiculously awesome. Now back in the day, it sucked because there was no way to save in Roblox games, so as soon as you quit out, it would you lose all your progress. And I had many times, because my internet sucked when I was little, where my internet would go out for a minute and come back. And there was nothing more agonizing than you having spent three hours in a tycoon and had built up so much, and then you lose connection to the internet and you just lost it all. That was the most tragic thing. But now we have fancy Roblox with game saves, you don't even have to like click anything to save, it's auto saves. And we decided to dive back into the tycoons and we found, I think the best one, Dogecoin Mining Tycoon. That's right. Dogecoin Mining Tycoon. Hello. Oh, what? Why am I a noob? This was a technical issue I was not expecting to have. No. There we go. I, d I have no idea why that just happened. Hello, and welcome to my Dogecoin mining tycoon that I have. Now, something you might initially notice upon looking at it is that, Andrew, you seem to have a disorganized mess of shelves. And you, you might be right. I took an interesting approach with my mining tycoon here where as Joe he decided to like just save up for the really expensive graphics cards that equals 
the point of a million really cheap graphics cards, I decided to buy a million cheap graphics cards that equal the power of a more expensive one. And it required a lot of shelves. And like since then, I've kind of moved over to just buying the really expensive graphics cards. And they're all over here getting a 90 plus bonus. And then I have all of these really cheap garbage ones that are barely adding anything on over there. In, in fact, I've gotten too many shelves that you might notice a lot of them don't have graphics cards. I, I actually just don't have enough to fill all the shelves. These are all my graphics cards. I have this gold one that sadly was not as good as I was hoping it was. It's, it's okay though. So essentially, there's multiple things to this game. The loop is you make Dogecoin as you have your graphics cards running and placed. You can get different cooling items like this fan or this ice cube and if you put the shelves with the graphics cards in the radius then they get a bonus so like all of these get a plus 40 percent by being around this ice cube and so they mine even faster because they're in the cooling. Or like this black hole is cooling these graphics cards, don't ask questions, and uh they're getting a plus 90. And as you can see up here, this is the Dogecoin I'm making currently. It just fills up. I'm making a lot of Dogecoin. I've been playing this for a while. And then, once you make enough Dogecoin, you can head over to this shop. There's a shelf shop where you can get the shelves that I have. There's a premium shop for if you want to spend money or you get a premium currency, a plus two of it every like 20 minutes or so. You can buy GPUs here, or you can go to the exchange and wait for Dogecoin to be worth a lot of money before you sell, and that'll fill your currency. You'll be spending a surprisingly large amount of time staring at this billboard, waiting for it to get back up to the 250 range. Cause sure, are you gonna make seven quadillion dollars? Now I'm not, cause it went down, but... I could wait for it to go back up and I would make even more. So why would I sell now? You know any good jokes? Got any interesting stories? Have a good weekend. Did your 4th of July go well? Did your brother-in-law cut his finger off in a saw on accident? That's a pretty good story. I, I have it. I'm not going to tell it. This is a frustrating experience. This is the worst part. Oh, oh, it's going up. Oh, that, no. Oh, oh it, it's zigzag. Oh. Oh, it's going back up. You gotta be quick on the trigger. Oh, do we sell? Oh, mm, it's close to high. It might, it, I should have sold. I should have sold. Oh, it's going back up. Do I sell it? Yes. Okay, we sold. We sold right at that tippy top. We made a lot of money. Look at that. We got 10 quadillion dollars. And now, with my 10 quadillion dollars, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there are quests that you unlock at certain milestones from this wizard. You might notice that I'm not moving the camera and walking at the same time because I'm holding this microphone. I didn't think this through very well. The next one is a level 80 requirement, and you get levels by getting upgrades. So basically, you get a new fancy graphics card that you've never gotten before, you're gonna level up a lot, get a lot of XP. And then you'll basically just do fetch quests where you run from place to place or look for items in the world. And they'll sometimes give you currency, they'll sometimes give you a really awesome black hole cooling like the one that I have. We have cooling you can buy out here. You'll unlock these new areas as you level up also. So like, now you can buy cooling over here. You can buy even better GPUs. But I just unlocked this new area and it has even better GPUs. That one's level 75, so I can't go there yet. So I have quite a bit of money. We're in the quadillions. Ooh, I can't quite afford that, but I can afford, oh, and that's that's the most expensive one here. I can't afford a couple of these Tron cards, so let's get them. Oh wow, look at that experience I'm getting. Awesome. So now that we have that. <clears throat> There's a couple quality of life features that I really appreciate in this game, but are not explained to you whatsoever. So you will spend about three hours playing without these features and then realize they were there and be very depressed. The first one, there's a button right up here that teleports you back to your tycoon. So while you were making these 30 minute journeys all the way out to buy a GPU and all the way back, you could have just went 
Wow. Second quality of life feature is uh, you can clear the GPUs in the lot. Sure, that's simple enough. I'm gonna clear out all these GPUs so I can place in my new buddies. And then you might go, okay, time to place in my new GPUs. <clears throat> look at look at these new. Oh God, this is so hard to do with one hand. And you go boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's that's all that kind of boop. And you do that for every single shelf. Place them single all at a time over and over again for 30 years. So every single time you make an upgrade, it becomes the very tedious, tedious thing of replacing all of the shelving because you want your best cards to be next to the black hole and move outwards. But then you realize there's this quality of life feature. So let's let's just clear this out again where you, you stand near <clears throat> your best area first, click on a graphics card, and then down here there's a fill all GPU slot. So, and then you go boop, boop. Wow, look at you. You just you just filled all your GPUs. That was that was a lot easier and quicker, wasn't it? Uh, sadly, I didn't figure that out till I had already been using 100 shelves for a while. But yeah, and there you go. Look at how much quicker I'm making Dogecoin now that I've added these three beastly cards. Wow. Wow. And and that's the game. And you just keep doing this and you keep getting better cards. You'll get some even higher shelves like these ones. You'll get some even funkier looking graphics cards, you'll get more black holes so you can get more out of the graphics cards you have. You can completely design where you put the shelves. So no, yours doesn't have to look like it was maybe thrown together. Like I initially had it spaced out really nicely and then I had 80 extra shelves. So I just started throwing them wherever there was a slot. You don't necessarily have to do that. I chose to. You can get a fire hydrant for $850 trillion. No wonder taxes are so high. Some of the quests are kind of stupid. Like there was one, like some of them are like, hey, we hid some teddy bears, go find them. And it's like, they're in this area specifically. So you're like, oh, okay, well, there's, that's not too much to look for. And I found them all eventually. And then you have other quests where they're like, all right, find this gear I need, but also it could be in any of the areas. I don't actually know. And then you just have to search the entire map for 20 minutes to look for it, which is good because then you just spent 20 minutes mining Dogecoin. There is a silver lining. What a good game though. I This is just because there's nothing more satisfying to me than buying a bunch of new graphics cards and looking at my Dogecoin number go up even faster so then I can get even better graphics cards or unlocking a new cooling item that makes my graphics cards so cool that they mine plus 90%. That's awesome. It's very satisfying. You can even change the color of your lot. So yeah, like this is a very satisfying loop and it's also something where you don't need to pay attention to it. There's no real plot besides the quests being like, I need this gear so I can make this doohicular device. Please get it for me. Stuff you don't really need to pay attention to at all. Or like, can you find my son's teddy bears? I like them. And you can do that. But because of the fact that there's no story and you don't have to pay a humongous amount of attention, this is the perfect game to like own a second gaming monitor that you definitely have and watch something on there while playing or maybe if you have like a phone watch something on there or tv while you're playing your game just like watching something so like i've been watching shows with my friends and then mining cryptocurrency in roblox at the same time and it feels good i'm having a great time this is this is what i'm doing i'm 20 years old this is how I'm going to spend my life.